Hi everybody. Today I'm making Mexico's national dish and it's mole. And with my recipe, you can make it super easy. The first thing you wanna do is start your chicken boiling. So fill a soup pan uh, full, about halfway full of water and then add raw onion and some garlic cloves. Mole Poblano is Mexico's national dish. Mexico is divided when it comes to its origin. The most widely known of the mole sauce is the mole poblano, but there are over 200 moles and they all vary depending on the ingredients used. For the mole poblano, there are generally two schools of thought. The first is that it has its origin in pre-Hispanic Mexico. It's believed that the Aztecs invented it and that it was known as a muli, which is the Aztec word for mole. The second belief is that a nun came up with it in the mid 1600s. In both cases, the most important ingredient was unsweetened chocolate. The recipe calls for over 20 ingredients and takes a very long time to prepare correctly. At its core, mole is a symbol of mestizaje, a proof of the amazing possibilities created by the mixture of Spanish and indigenous culture. Mole is generally known to be a celebratory dish, one served at special occasions. That being said, I cook it whenever we're craving it because it's so delicious and makes any day a special occasion. Because it is so laborious to make and takes so long to make it correctly, I have come up with a very delicious, very easy, and very quick way to make it even on a weeknight. You're gonna need to cook the chicken at medium high heat, boil for one hour, and add approximately two to three tablespoons of salt. Let it boil another 15 to 20 minutes after that till the chicken is tender but not falling off the bone. Once I've tested the chicken to make sure that it's done, I take it out of the pan and strain the liquid. My preferred prepared mole sauce is Doña Maria. I've tried others in the past, but they don't compare. Also, an added bonus is that they make them with different designs and they're collectible. I recently sold a lot of three of them for $25 in my eBay store. And so essentially they were free because I used the mole and I just happened to keep the jars. You can generally purchase them at your local grocery store, but if you can't find them, I know you that Walmart online carries them. Set the broth aside and put the mole in the pot with approximately two cups of the broth. I like to scoop it out in small chunks so that it's not so difficult to uh, blend in. Add half a can of the tomato sauce and sugar and keep tasting. <laughs> you wanna make sure that it's to your liking. So if you like it a little sweeter, add a little bit more sugar. I like to add about two to three tablespoons of sugar. Whisk until all the mixture is smooth. You want the mole as smooth as possible, no, with no lumps. 
Keep adding ladlefuls of broth to thin the mixture, but you don't want to thin it too much. It still needs to be a, a thicker curry consistency. Once the sauce is nice and smooth, add the chicken back in and cover it in the sauce. And that is it, you're done. Serve with Spanish rice, tortillas, romaine lettuce leaves, and if you like, some cucumber slices for garnish, uh, which I didn't do in the video. I've included my way of making the Spanish rice uh, from a previous video uh, just so you would know how to make the Spanish rice to go with the mole. Next I'll be making a pretty foolproof recipe I call Nelly Scrumptious Spanish Rice. I'm starting off by making the sauce. I cut half an onion into large chunks, add three quarters of a cup of tomato sauce, two tablespoons of North Swiss powdered chicken bouillon, and some water. The full recipe will be in, in the description down below. I previously measured out two cups of long grain white rice and rinsed it under cold water for a minute or so just to get rid of some of the starch, then set it aside to make the sauce. Also in preparation, I took one can of peas and carrots and one can of potatoes, drained and rinsed them and set them aside. Put four to five tablespoons of vegetable oil in a heavy bottom four quart pan with a lid. Heat the oil on medium high heat, then add the rice and stir the rice until it's lightly toasted. Once you see it start toasting, Pour in the sauce and vegetables and raise the flame to high and let it cook for three minutes. Put the lid on the pan and put it in a preheated oven set to 425 degrees for 25 minutes. When the timer goes off, take the pan out of the oven and just set it on your stove top until you're ready to serve your meal and don't be tempted to lift the lid. Okay, I have my plate all set to go and I can't wait, my mouth is watering. It's so I know it's so good because I've had it before. Mm. 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 This brings back memories of my grandmother's. It's not the same. She had she would make her own with like over 20 ingredients. This is the simple way to, of doing it, but it's delicious. It is so I'm eating with my mouth full, but it's so good. Please try it, you'll love it. So we have romaine lettuce as well because it helps to take a little, if it's a little too astringent, it helps just to cleanse the palate and you just eat it like this. And of course you can have your tortillas on the side. It is so good. Try it, you're gonna love it. It's so good. So if you've ever eaten curry, it's along the same lines. It doesn't taste like curry, but basically that thickness and that, um, all those 
spices and flavors in there. That's what this is. It's Mexican curry, but it's so good. It's, um, the sesame seeds are uh, just for show, really, um, because it's made with sesame seeds as well. So here's your dish. And it really only takes about an hour and a half to two hours to get it done, whereas normally it can take days to make this. So um, enjoy it, try it, you're gonna love it. If you liked the video you just saw, please click on this one.